four, three, two, one. This is the doctor bringing you set three of Wujing Sorry vs. KT Russell, and this is going to be quite a treat. We have Reach, none other than Reach, the man toss himself against Neo G Soki. Reach is the Protoss player at the 6 o'clock position, while Soki is the Blue Zerg at the 12 o'clock position. For anyone who knows anything about professional brood work, Reach needs no introduction. Even the daughter of the CEO of Korean Airlines, who is very attractive, I might add, thinks. Uh, likes Reach. She thinks Reach is the best pro gamer. Certainly, she Reach is her favorite pro gamer. That statement is 100% accurate. I don't know if Reach is the best anymore. Okay, he's definitely not the best anymore. In fact, he is far out of his prime. Interesting to note that with the recent resignation, uh, not resignation, the retirement of Yellow, Reach is really the only player left that I am aware of from the, the early days of StarCraft. Reach was around way back when. He famously won his title, his only title against Boxer in his prime. Reach also had an epic, epic series with Savior. I believe it was actually the first MSL Finals that Savior won. It might have been the semifinals. I, I actually cannot quite remember. But an uh, incredible series just when Savior was starting to rise and Reach back then looked uh, like he was going to sweep aside all opposition yet again. Anyway, looks like an overpool here coming out from Soki. These days, unfortunately, Reach uh, not quite performing at the same level that he used to. He is still the man toss uh, co uh, term coined by Flazart, one of the greatest commentators, um, English commentators. Uh, I, I have to say, and Reach now putting down his forge, it appears. Uh, I don't know what that sign says, but I assume it's a massive uh, tribute to Reach. That's what I have to assume here. Uh, truth be told, I mean, from a purely objective standpoint, Reach has an extremely small probability of winning this game, but that doesn't matter as long as this matchup is entertaining, which with Reach just being in it is good enough for me. And that comment, and that's now raw. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's now raw. So now raw looking incredibly abused here by Reach. They, you, they're on the same team, by the way. Now raw, of course, is a former uh, KT player. In fact, now raw during his prime, Reach was also performing at a very high level. They used to be uh, key members to KT's uh, performance back before they had Flash. KT had Yellow, Reach, now raw, uh, incredible lineup, but they never won the title. Um, despite that, two cannons going down here for Reach, some Zerglings out for Soki, going to just try to uh, catch Reach's defenses unprepared, but that's not going to happen. I guess they more want to kill this probe. Reach doing a good job keeping his probe alive. So what else can I say about Reach? Reach, of course, the, the uh, older brother of Yellow in their unofficial shenanigans that are never really published on the internet that really um, exist only in my fevered imagination. But anyway, Reach and Yellow, unfortunately with Yellow, the younger brother, of course, uh, retired these days. Reach has no one to mentor. Who's he gonna mentor? Flash is too injured. Uh, stats is, you know, sort of too boring and Frankly, you know, Stats is not going to attract too many good-looking women, I have to say. Uh, Reach, although on the other hand, Reach by himself should be enough to do, uh, hit, uh, do enough work for any other player, I have to say. So, uh, uh, Hatchery going down here for Neo Jisoki at the 9 o'clock position as is standard for Zerg. This looks like he is going to uh, get his usual basis up. Uh, it's interesting to note. Of course, that on this particular map, alternative uh, two-player map, it is impossible for the Zerg to uh, easily get up to four gas. So they are forced to put down their third base at a location such that it is difficult for them to immediately take a fourth base. Zerg will be limited to three bases for some time. Reach is scouting here at three o'clock position, seeing nothing. Pretty sure Reach has not scouted nine o'clock position, so he does not know about that location. Let's see what Reach decides to do. What strategy he decides to employ here? Two Zerglings <laughs> trying to block that little ramp off. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. Maybe just to... Uh, I mean, there's no real good reason to do that. It's not like there could possibly be a proxy there. Proxy hatchery, sure, but that would be so insane. Um, on the other hand, the two Zerglings blockading the ramp for Soki. Now, that's clever on um, the ramp leading his main. That, I think, is a good move. Prevent the probe from going here. The probe, of course, not going to be in any real danger unless Reach miss micros or until Zergling speed 
upgrade finishes. If Reach gets uh, his pro trapping here, could be in a bit of trouble. That pro trying its best to stay alive. Gonna see the natural, unfortunately, not gonna be able to gain the main pro going down to the Zerglings. Finally, Reach is working on his Stargate now. He should be able to send out Corsair soon enough to take a look at what's going on. He also has his Citadel building. Uh, let's see what Reach goes for. I'm predicting that Reach is going to go for the plus one Zealot attack, as would be befitting a player of his caliber. Hydralis are coming out, or uh, more of a player of his reputation, rather. Uh, his caliber in the past, of course, is uh, very good, but Reach's reputation is as a very um, manly. Uh, player, in fact, the most manly pro gamer ever. Only Hydra kinda is, is kinda in a very, very, very distant second place. And they need to show more shots of Reach, I have to say. Uh, Reach actually might be in a bit of trouble here. These Hydras uh, come down busting through his front. Reach does not seem to be aware of this. Reach needs to send out some sort of scout. Uh, and Reach only with two cannons. Uh, Soki is going to see. Exactly what defenses Reach has in Reach, sending his Corsair over there. That bit of misdirection by Soki, very effective. Uh, has to say, Reach getting distracted, and now Reach's front is in serious danger of getting broken. One of the cannons goes down, the second cannon is not going to survive, and Reach uh, losing his game in a rather, uh, rather disappointing fashion, I have to say. His cannons have gone down, his front is completely breached, he's got no units. I blame the fact that he did not produce uh, uh, more Zealots for his defeat here. He only built two Zealots, and Soki just has uh, free reign to run all over Reach's natural. These probes are getting slaughtered, and the GG is surely coming soon for Reach. Uh, perhaps Reach has a Templar Archive built, and he might be waiting for a single Dark Templar to come out or something like that, but the pylon is getting focused down by Soki, and with that pylon down, all of Reach's buildings, it looks like, are on power. The second pylon also going down. I'm not quite sure what Reach can do. He's apparently uh, tried to survive in his main base, but that's not going to last. Uh, all sorts of units coming for Soki to destroy Reach's base here. A bit unfortunate, I have to say. Reach not quite able to pull out a yellow to play uh, one amazing game of StarCraft a year uh, thus far, but I have faith in him. I have faith. We should probably GG now. Okay, GG coming from Reach. Entertaining game. Regardless, regardless of Reach's, well, uh, disappointing performance. See, now they're showing a very long shot of Reach. They're not even bothering to show shot the other player. <laughs> I mean, how could this guy possibly compare with, with Reach over there? Anyway, going on to set four.